Hi, I'm Steve Lawless. I'm the CEO of Purple Griffin and my colleagues have asked me to explain in 10 minutes or less what the ITIL4 certification scheme is. Some people have complained that it looks a little bit complicated. It's not really, but I can explain it in less than 10 minutes. So this is the scheme. As you can see, it is a little bit messy, but it comprises of three work streams. There's the practice manager work stream, there's the managing professional work stream, and there's the strategic leader work stream. Uh, there's also a number of extension modules. As you can see at the top, we've got ITIL Master, and at the bottom, we've got ITIL Foundation and an ITIL Overview. So let's move through the slides and look at the first work stream. First ones we're going to cover are the ITIL Overview and the ITIL Foundation. So the overview is basically a one day course and this covers the basic concepts of, of ITIL 4. It's aimed at those that maybe don't work in service management, work with service managers and need to understand some of the basic service management concepts. So as I said, it's a one day course, it's introductory course. The real introductory course though, for people who are looking to progress through their service management career is the three-day ITIL Foundation course. So this is a prerequisite for most of the courses we're going to be looking at as we go through the rest of this presentation. Let's have a look at the, the first major work stream. So this is the Managing Professional and this consists of four modules. One module which is shared between the Managing Professional work stream and the Strategic Leader, which is the Direct Plan and Improve module. There's two modules which are specific for Managing Professional, and these are the High Velocity IT module and the Drive Stakeholder Value module. And there's also a fourth module, which is the Create, Deliver and Support module. And that module is shared between Managing Professional and the Practice Manager work stream. So let's have a look at those in a bit more detail. So each of these four courses is a, a three-day course with an exam at the end of the course. And the exams are done when you feel confident to take the exam. In the past, we've run on-site training. People have tended to take the exam right at the end of the, the three-day course. But the exam vouchers you're provided with now give you up to, to six months to take the exam, although I wouldn't advise waiting six months. Let's have a look at the first one, Direct Plan and Improve. This focuses on the important areas of, of governance, change management, both from an IT perspective and organisational perspective, project planning, and most importantly, continual improvement. The high velocity IT module, which I've heard described as service management on steroids. This looks at the various techniques to make service management more efficient, leaner, more agile. So it covers lots of techniques. Drive stakeholder value. This three day course focuses on the customer journey and that starts from initial engagement right through to the value co-creation as we like to call it and all of the, the various steps in between. The fourth module is great deliver and support and this module looks at the, the value streams, practices and processes involved in both supporting an existing service and also around how we would onboard a new service. To become a managing professional you need to pass all four exams. We'll talk a little bit about the exams later. Okay, let's jump back to our certification scheme. Let's have a look at Strategic Leader. And Strategic Leader comprises of two modules. So the Direct Plan and Approve module, which we've just covered because it's common to the Managing Professional work stream. And the Strategic Leader Digital IT Strategy module, which we commonly call DITS. To get a Strategic Leader certification or qualification, you need to pass both exams. The Direct Plan and Approve, as we've already said. So if you're a Managing Professional, you don't need to take that Direct Plan and Improve module again. That's already been covered at the Managing Professional level. So the, the Digital and IT Strategy course, slightly different to the other courses. This has run over four days, and as well as a, a proctored multiple choice exam, it also covers four instructor-led in-course assignments, which you also have to pass. And you'll take those assignments as a group, if it's a, a virtual course with a number of people on the course, or you can take it as an e-learning course where you would individually take each of those four instructor-led course assignments. 
Let's have a look at the third work stream, and th this is the newest. Although in this diagram we're saying that these are coming soon, by the end of 2023 all of these modules will be in place and available. So the practice manager module is what we're going to look at, so let's have a look at that. The certification of practice manager can be achieved by either passing one of the three-day practice manager modules, which is MSF, the PIC, or the CAI modules. So you only have to take one of those three modules, either take just one of those, or what you can do is a bit of a mix and match. You can take five of the one-day practitioner courses. So of those 15 practitioner modules you see on the diagram, you just need to pass five of those. But also in addition, you need to pass the CDS, the Create, Deliver and Support module, which if you've become a managing professional, you would have already covered, so you don't need to take it. If you're just focusing on the, the practice manager, then you will have to take that three-day module as well. As I said, to get to Practice Manager, you can take five of these individual practitioner modules, but you might decide you only need one of them. So we do go into more depth on these one-day courses, as opposed to the extent we would cover practice within the three-day course. And what some people tend to do is they would take the, the Practice Manager course. So, for instance, if you're a Problem Manager, take the Monitor, Support and Fulfill Practice Manager course, and then take the individual Problem Manager management practitioner module where we'd go into more depth again it's up to you it, it depends really what you want to take they're grouped so they cover three areas within it so the the sort of support function which covers service desk incident management etc the plan implement and control which covers change enablement release management deployment management etc and collaborate assure and improve which covers continual improvement service level management etc so uh, the, the choice is yours they're, they're aimed at sort of three main areas within it there's also four extension modules and those four extension modules two of which it says coming soon but they are already here so as of october 2023 those modules all of those modules are available so let's have a look at those four extension modules so they cover cloud management or managing cloud services they cover uh, sustainability in digital and it there is a business relationship management module and there's also an it asset management module which again goes into more depth than the, the one-day IT Asset Management Practitioner course. The only thing different with these four modules is that you don't need to take ITIL Foundation. It's not a prerequisite. Personally, I would suggest you do take the Foundation course, though, because it's going to give you a wide understanding of ITIL for service management. The Sustainability Management module is very similar to the DITS module from Strategic Leader because there are four assignments built into the course. Top of the pile, the capstone qualification, is the ITIL 4 Master. We've been waiting for this for a long time. So let's have a look at this. So ITIL 4 Master, it's the, the ultimate service management qualification. It's the, the top level in ITIL 4. You don't need to take any exam to be accredited as an ITIL 4 Master. All you've got to do really is become qualified in those three work streams. So qualified as a strategic leader, a managing professional and a practice manager. Fair number of exams, so maybe not something you're going to do overnight, but something you can work towards. In terms of course delivery, all of the courses are available via our extensive public schedule and they're typically instructor-led and delivered virtually. We can also deliver all of the courses on site, either as a virtual or an in-person delivery, and most of the modules are now available as self-paced e-learning. So the choice is yours. What do we cover in each course, or what, what do we provide with each course? Well, we provide extensive course materials, which have been accredited by PeopleCert, who's the, the accreditor for ITIL 4. We also provide the official PeopleCert course book as an e-book. It is available as a hard copy, but for sustainability, purposes we try to get people to use the ebook it is available as a hard copy but at, a, at an additional cost we also provide the official people cert 
proctored exam voucher. And so, so you're not worried about passing the exam. We also provide what we call a take two. And this is an exam resit voucher. Just in case you don't pass first time. With very high pass rates in lots of the courses. So sometimes I do ask myself, why do we provide take two? But it's there for peace of mind. If you are nervous about taking exams, you know that you've got a second chance. Okay, No additional cost because it's built into the, uh, the course. Hopefully I've covered all of your questions. Uh, but if you do have any questions regarding ITIL 4 or any of our other qualifications, our workshops, our masterclasses, then feel free to contact us. Uh, we can provide you with a no obligation quote for any course in any format for any number of people. Uh, so you could email our account managers at info at purplegriffin.com. You could visit our website. We've got very extensive FAQs. All of the course schedule dates, the course syllabus is there for every course. Or you could ring and speak to one, one of our account managers directly. We've also got a talk feature, so a chatbot, which don't worry, it's not an AI chatbot. It's connected to a real human being. And that's found in the bottom right hand corner of our website. OK, so th that covers it. Hopefully that was no more than 10 minutes. If it was, I do apologise. So, yeah, any questions, let us know. And um, happy learning. Bye.